Blam. Guess what this segment's about, Kevin? <laughs> Guess what we saw this week, Pete? What did we see this week? I saw um, Cats and Dogs Return of Kitty Glore. Wow. <laughs> I <laughs> saw Dogs and Cats Return of... No, I can't, I can't even go anywhere with it. I got nothing. <laughs> you don't know other crappy movies that are out? <laughs> uh, Condor Man? Ooh, I thought that's good. <laughs> Biodome 2? <laughs> I actually heard there's a Biodome 2 in the works. It's a, it's and by heard, I just made that up. <laughs> but now you heard it, too. That's going on IMDb now. <laughs> there is a rumor on IMDb. <laughs> Biodome 2 but is in the works. Granted, the name Pete Greenberg does kind of sound like someone in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. So uh, it, 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 a well-known agent. I've, I've been to Hollywood. <laughs> Opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect... Those of uh, backroom, backroom com- comics podcast management staff or advertisers. <laughs> they don't refract it at all. <laughs> I'm going to refract you. Ooh, so, Scott Pilgrim. Hey, we've seen it. Hey, well, let's talk about Scott Pilgrim. Been there. So Scott Pilgrim started out... Uh, no, let's, let's fast forward here. a little bit. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this week, uh, thanks to some a uh, friend of Pete's. Yep. And a, f- a friend of mine. Yes. Uh, but she called Pete, not me. Uh I don't think that was a, a personal... Oh, it was like, a slight. It, was it a slight. wasn't. It wasn't. No, yeah, no. Well, no, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, but she had a uh, uh, some extra tickets to a yeah. very special preview of Scott Pilgrim. Press screening. We like, saw it. Like two weeks ahead of time. I know. And um, Although by the time this airs, probably like one week ahead of time. Yeah, could be. But still early. We saw it. Y'all still haven't seen it, and we have. <laughs> <laughs> and so what'd you think? I really liked the movie. Um, the trailer didn't look great to me. It did not look great to me, and I, I had seen some stuff online. I'm like, they're going to kind of half-ass this. This is not going to go well. I di- I... What didn't you like about the trailer? It, it seems like another, and I know we've had a lot lately, of just like Michael, Sarah is Michael, awkward, mumbles, McSara movie again. Yeah. i just tired of that. Like, I like Arrested Development a lot, and I like... Even like Michael Sarah, I'm just sort of like, all right, self-deprecating mumbler. Like, I, I need something else from you, buddy. Like, I, I either need you to go away for a little while, not forever, just a little while, mm-hmm. or just that sort of like he is now the icon for sort of like the uh, the post-teen slackerdom kind of disenfranchised. He's the new Kevin Smith. <laughs> or is that being really mean to, to Michael Sarah? I think it's being really mean to Michael Sarah. <laughs> um, so, but what did since you had read a few of the books? Yeah. Did, from the previews, did you get a bad a feel for the actual movie? Like the the feel for it? Uh, you know, the tone. Did you think that was off? No, I think in the in the trailer it was more of just sort of like trying to tell that story and make it. I mean, the trailer is designed to get you hooked in. It didn't get me hooked in. It looks like they were going to sort of fumble with the story. It's just a weird trailer. It doesn't... My cons- my Because concern... they're, they're trying to broaden it out, and I'm sorry to cut you off. No, 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 no. that's okay. They're, they're trying to broaden it out. So, like, you get mass appeal. For people who aren't familiar with the comic will go, oh, that looks like a fun movie. I want to go see it. And I get that, but it just it just didn't land for me. For whatever reason, it just didn't... Well, and, and my issue was, obviously, Scott Pilgrim is in six books. Seven? Six. 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 And... There, those are there. There's a lot of character development. There's a, there's a lot of depth to those books, and the and my concern was that once I found out that they were actually going to be having him fight all of the evil evil uh, ex boyfriends or evil exes in the in the one movie, uh, that that seemed like it was going to be really rushed. It made me kind of worry a little bit, kind of like uh, Batman Forever. Where you have nine villains, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're they're so focused on on the villains <laughs> and bat <they're>... nipples. <laughs> and uh, I can I can tell you this. Spoiler alert: Scott Pilgrim has no bat nipples. That's true. That's true. I said spoiler alert. Yeah, that's that's the only spoiler we'll have today. Yeah, that's. But and so I was really concerned about that. Like it, it seemed that if you take on too much, uh, it it might be a problem. And now, granted, it didn't have as much depth. As the, as the books, 
Okay. It was condensed. The movie was condensed once we, you know, we actually saw it. It was, con- it was condensed, but sure. they did a really good job of that. Yeah, I think the pacing was great. I think the stylizing was great. I think uh, almost from the opening credits, I went, oh, yeah, this isn't that trailer. No. Like, this no. is going to be really fun. And, you know, like, like so this, the book takes place over a few months. Mm-hmm. This takes place over, the movie takes place over maybe a couple weeks. Maybe. maybe, yeah. Yeah, like, it's 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 very condensed. But yeah, the, the time isn't, the timeline isn't super clear. Yeah, but that's... I guess that's technically another spoiler. Nah. That's but it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, if that's going to piss people off. Anyway. How dare they change the time structure? <laughs> Dear... Yeah, and that's not good. Backroom. Slow typer. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> so, Nerds. How dare you? Ching. I'll stop that. <laughs> you are a good mime. Yeah. Uh, so, ba- basically, you, you mentioned the first five minutes, and that was, that was what kind of, I mentioned in our, in our online review, that kind of made me fall in love with the movie, too. Yeah. Uh, because I don't think it's a spoiler to say that... Um, it follows. It introduces all of the main characters. Spoiler: Kevin could have a spoiler. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm spoiler alerting your if I spoiler. non-spoiler alert. We introduce all the main characters. We see uh, Sex Bobom, and we yep. we, are, we are introduced to the existence of knives, mm-hmm. and and from there they have band practice and that and and cut to the opening credits the uh, Sex Bobom playing. Yeah. After they introduced all the characters and showed how they interact and everything. It was it, that that whole first five minutes. If you're not in love with the characters and the movie, everything at that point, then you, maybe you won't like it. But for me, it like it melted away all of my doubts about the movie. Yeah, it yeah. Just, the, the tone is there. The the vibe, like you know clearly that first five minutes, you know clearly what the rest of the movie is going to mm-hmm. be, style wise. And I I was in. I was like, this is handled really well. Yeah. I want to see where this goes. I want to keep seeing where this goes. And the, the concerns that, that uh, Jason and Chris expressed uh, and that we've expressed before about Scott Pilgrim not being as, uh, enough of a dick while at the same time being likable, I think that was handled really well. He was pretty much a prick in a lot of the movie, but he real you know, that, that, as in the book, you know, you realize Potential that spoiler to Kevin's spoiler. <laughs> it's, Did it again. I don't, it can't be a spoiler. Ah, it, could, it could be. It could be. But, you know, when, when you re, you know, Spoiler, it's Kevin's going to talk soon. Damn it, no, I'm going to shut up now. See, he's talking. I, like a psychic spoiler. This is no. not helping the review at all. No, 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 no. But Sorry. I don't know. I, I guess we could wrap it up and just say that. No, I mean, there's still a little more we can talk about. I'll stop interrupting. Okay, well, let's talk about more. You tell me more. Um, here's something, and you mentioned Sex bob I always find it interesting when you're reading something that has like a band or music in it, how do you translate that to like a movie or like a live like I remember being in high school and I read those uh, the interview with the vampire mm-hmm. books did you ever read those no I had fr- no <laughs> I had friends <laughs> I've seen your comic collection no you didn't <laughs> no but there's there's at one point it's in the vampire the the second book um, that uh, he forms a rock band oh no <laughs> whatever and they become like this huge rock band and and you know there was a handful of us in high school who read the books fine whatever and you can apply this to anything where there's a written thing talking about music what do you think the music sounds like mm-hmm. if I had asked you that before we saw the movie like what do you think that band sounds like or what do you think that band sounds like and you get like a whole wide array of sort of what it is I mean you know it's sort of like this slacker kind of punk kind of rock kind of thing yeah yeah, but and, and actually, just really loud, really dirty, yeah. really rough. You know, not a tight band at all. No, uh, they just, but they, but they, but they make it work. Right, and so to actually see the band in the movie, be exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah, was really neat. Of like, yeah, they nailed that exactly. Like, I didn't have any sort of audio reference of what I thought it would be, but there it is, anyways. Because it's you know you're reading about music and it's not. I and I got a. If someone would have just videotaped my face while we were watching it, the first time that, that Kim Pine says we are Sex Bob Bomb one two three, yeah, I, I, I got a huge, I just a huge smile on my face. Well, it's because you love her. I, I kind of fell in love with the actress that that, that did yeah. that that did her. Uh, that was yeah, yeah, a little bit. Totally makes sense. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I, don't know, I think I, you know if we don't want to spoil anything, we got we got to kind of leave it there. Um, right. We you, we may want to do a quick follow up spoiler full review later, um, because 
I do have a problem a little bit with how it how it ended based on okay. how the book ended. Okay. But I don't. I, again, I don't want to get into that. That's here. pre-spoiler yeah, alert. Pre-spoiler alert. Right. Uh, maybe next week. Maybe. Um, I will say this. I found myself really invested in the characters of like I really like it when X, Y, or Z are on screen. I want to see it. Like, and I felt that way with almost all of the characters. Yeah. But let's let's specify. Kieran Culkin as Wallace Wells. Great casting. Really good. Great casting. He the, was uh, really funny. The the girl they cast as Knives was perfectly spot Ellen on. Ellen Wong. Thank you. Yes, uh, she was she was really good as the as the lovesick, stocky, but still. Uh, but she was she Please was tell still me it's injured. Biodome too. Oh, it's not Biodome. It's just the lovely cast. Of but she but she was injured. I mean, she was injured by Scott in the breakup, and so she yeah. had a reason to be kind of. Because she's only seventeen, she's stocky and 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 hurt and everything. Yeah, and it's the, it's, it's that definitely really that, well. that young love oh, totally. really showed out well, and that's yeah. fine. That's great. And uh, she, and uh, this is now. Uh, nope. I'm gonna preempt the spoiler part. <laughs> when she see, first sees uh, Sex Bobomb in concert the first time, and she acts like she she's does a great job of going, you know, Sex Bobomb eek and like. Passes that's out. in the book, though. That's, yeah, I mean, like, totally that's totally in the, in the book. book, so it's totally it's, non-spoiler. It's really right. cute. Like it's, and, and it's, you know, it, again, it kind of exp, uh, ex- shows how much she's into yeah, Scott. Yeah, and, and, and it goes it goes into the overall tone of the movie. Yeah. Um, they got they got it right. I Yeah, I definitely called this movie a, sort of a, a surprise hit, because I think it turned out to be a whole lot better than I expected. Um, and not that I'm to judge for everyone, but I just think... It's gonna be the surprise sort of like summer hit. Like it's a whole lot better of a movie, I think across the board. Not, there's not that many good movies out this summer. It's struggling. Inception sucks. <laughs> I'll say that right now, just to piss off Spencer. Uh, man who likes the new karate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You have to take Kevin's word on movies at the moment with a little grain of salt because he was totally fine with the new. I was totally fine with that. I'll admit that. I'll kid. cop to that. Hold on, hold on. I need us to pause on that. He's fine. With the new Karate Kid, yeah. But um, I think this is going to do better than anyone expected. I think so. I think I think it's just a fun movie. Like yeah. you need a fun summer movie. This is it. Yeah. And I, I'm pointing down to the table, and I'll pull up the poster again. I'm like, this is it was fun. All right. Um, well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Okay. So thumbs up, or no, we can't do thumbs up. Um, Rock horns? Because it's. I'll give it two rock horns. Two rock horns. Uh, I will... is, is there some sort of like comic book equivalent? Uh, uh, I will give it nine dos. Uh, I'm gonna nine gi- dos I'm gonna, out of ten. I'm gonna give it uh, <laughs> twelve. Dear, OD comics. No, how about 12, I like twelve no prizes. No prizes. Yeah. Uh, plus ten. Twelve excelsiors. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. Yeah, uh, it's a like fun it. movie. It turned out a lot better than I expected. Not that I went in with super low expectations, but it looked a little shaky to me. Cool. And it was a whole lot of fun. Did I mention it was a whole lot of fun? And better than Jonah Hex. Thanks for Who? watching.